what's interesting is that kind of innovation and creativity isn't always about money. In fact, it's never about money. It's never about spending. Here's an example from such a pizza company in Dubai, very random. Uh, they created this fridge magnet. It's Bluetooth. So what you do is you put it on your fridge. When you want a pizza, you simply press that button. It connects through your mobile phone, dials the pizza company, and orders the favorite pizza that you've registered with them. And it's these kinds of fun, sort of service engaging stuff that's actually going to get people interested in the future. I guess for me, the real potential of mobile devices, though, is, is particularly in the health area. And there's been lots of things about weighing machines, blood pressure monitors, diabetic testers. And they connect into smartphones. They can provide the user with information. But what they can also do is they can then send that information to the, to the, to the medics, to your doctors. And it's going to actually both increase people's wellness, but also reduce the crime to visit a doctor. This is called Scanadu. It's about to be launched in beta. And this is a device that can actually uninvasively scan a number of the body's vital signs and provide that information back. This is actually, there's an X prize for a tricorder. The tricorder is the thing in Star Trek that they waved, and, and, and people are talking that they are likely to be able to win that by diagnosing 10 different vital life signs in a non-invasive way. And this is all about where the technology kind of kicks in. But I think, you know, again, if we talk about those are things that have had a massive investment, but actually there's very simple ways that mobile can make, people, make people's lives much better in the future. Uh, mosquitoes, they don't go very far, a mosquito. It can't fly very far. The problem with mosquitoes is they jump onto people and clothing and bags and things like that. So uh, they do start to travel a distance. So what they've started to do in Kenya is to map the use of mobile devices across networks, so where people are going with their mobile phones. And from that, they can actually monitor the spread of mosquitoes. And they're able to now, they're now beginning to implement new vaccines and it can inform their vaccination program so they can be the most effective that they can with it. Um, and the fact that you have these, these unique devices creates a massive opportunity to solve some, some big problems. And with a billion smartphones out there, we can actually use that computing power to solve even bigger problems.